On to some of the other day's sports news now, and uh, we should know who the new Swindon manager is tomorrow. Uh, the club have reportedly chosen who they want to succeed, Morris Malpass. They're now just working out a compensation deal with the club the new boss is coming from. If rumours are to be believed, Newcastle United's academy coach Richard Money and former town player Colin Caldwood are the favourites for the job. Football now and the speculation surrounding the new Swindon Town manager has taken a new twist. One of those connected with the job, Richard Money, has quit his post as director of the Newcastle United Academy. Swindon officials met last night to finalise their choice, but it appears there have been more developments. Others connected with the job include former Swindon player Dave Hockaday and Gary Speed of Sheffield United. An announcement is expected tomorrow. Well, I was expecting to tell you who the the new Swindon town manager was today. The club said they'd announced the new boss before tomorrow's game, but this afternoon the chairman revealed the board needs more time to make a decision. It means caretaker manager David Byrne will take charge against Yeovil tomorrow. Phil Duffel has the latest. Festive fun in Swindon, this jolly chap in the red suit, or will it be the next Swindon town manager? The shortlist was down to two and it appeared to be a straight fight between former Warsaw boss and now Newcastle Academy director Richard Money and the one-time Swindon defender Dave Hockaday, who's currently coaching at Southampton. But now chairman Andrew Fitton says the board may take this weekend to consider some new candidates. White clouds, but still no white smoke over the county ground to herald the appointment of a successor to manager Morris Malpass. And now the club have to get a move on. Otherwise, the new man could be taking over the reins of a club in the relegation zone. Tomorrow's game against Yeovil is more than just another derby encounter. It's a real relegation six-pointer. Almost certainly the last match in charge for the club's caretaker manager, he's determined to sign off with a win. This obviously becomes a lot more important now because we need, uh, you know, we need those three points. And as I've said in previous press, you know, if we get three points on Saturday, it's a four-point cushion going into the Christmas period against Leighton Orient and Brighton. Again, two winnable games. So that's, you know, that's what we will be looking to do against Yeovil on Saturday. Billy Painter starts a three-match ban for Swindon, but fellow striker Barry Kaur has recovered from injury. He should play and hopes the management saga is finally drawing to a close. It's dragged on a little bit and as players, you know, at the start, there's a bit of excitement and who's it going to be? And then, you know, we've meant so many names mentioned and it kind of does drag on. Phil Duffel in Swindon for Thames Valley tonight. Well, now the football and Swindon Town's deal to bring a new manager to the county ground has fallen through. There was speculation that Richard Money might be appointed today following reports yesterday that he had quit as the director of the Newcastle United Academy. This afternoon, the Swindon chairman, Andrew Fitton, admitted it had been a frustrating week and he would now take time to consider the remaining options. Well, all that means that caretaker manager David Byrne remains in charge for tomorrow's game with Yeovil. Swindon striker Barry Corr is set for a return as to his Yeovil's on-loan striker, Gifton Noel Williams. Elsewhere in League One, Bristol Rovers first-team coach Paul Trollope is likely to name an unchanged squad for the trip to Stockport. And Cheltenham hope to make it five games unbeaten. They're at home to Warsaw.